Good morning, everybody. Hello. <laughs> kind of forgot how to do this taking a week off. How is everyone this morning? I see lots of friends in the chat. Hello. It is a little delayed, so. Hello. I see a lot of my late night crew in here this morning. <laughs> from last night's premiere for the live, or not live, but the premiere where we chat live. Hello everyone, some first timers. A couple little notes. If this is your first live with me, uh, please give me a thumbs up, a heart in the chat. Number one, let me know, because I see, I saw one, of course my chat just went by. Let me see. Oh, Paula's getting new breaks. She's at the dealership. Well, that's important. Good. Hello, everyone. Okay, so who's ready to do some lawn fawn crafting? I prepped a little bit, but not all of it. Um, so um, we'll see how far we get in today's live. Um, I kind of stamped and pre-die cut some stuff, but we're going to color and try to put together this cute little pumpkin house. Um, I love the gnome house that Lawn Fawn has had out for years. And then they did the acorn last year, which believe it or not, I still haven't even made. So that is on the agenda for October when stamp timber is over. Oh, Emma says she ordered a ton of Lawn Fawn yesterday. That's awesome. Um, I will tell you, I thought I had added all the products for today's live, or at least what I thought we were going to use into the video description. So right before we went live, I checked. And I must not have saved any of it, which I was probably tired when I did it. So I actually have added it. So the products I'm using are linked. I've linked to Lawn Fawn. So if you're interested in picking up any of the new Lawn Fawn release, it is so good, you guys. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. Again, they probably won't come out till October. We got to get through Stamp Timber first. But we will um, be doing a lot of that. So... Um, I see a lot of you excited. I see Brandon is here. He loves Lawn Fawn, so that is so cool. Um, let's see if they have anything else that we need to discuss. I don't really think so. Um, see if there's any questions before we... I'm going to flip my camera. We're going to get started, or switch my camera, rather. All right, so I am going to changer up here. There we go. And you can see I die cut some stuff. We're actually going to be starting what I like to call completely from scratch. So we're going to color our background. I've die cut all the components for the pumpkin house. I will show you what that looks like when you get it. Hello, Carol. Oh, somebody has a question. It's huge. Lynn, ask away. Okay, so this is the pumpkin house. You can see lots of pieces. I did not cut all of them apart. I ran it through. Now, if you're gonna die cut this from colored cardstock or pattern paper, definitely cut them apart. But I just ran them through um, Nina 110 pound weight cardstock today. So, and then I just die cut, die cut the ones, or die cut, trimmed apart the ones that um, I needed multiples of. And then I've kind of laid out the sentiments I think I'm going to use. I will show you the stamp sets. Let's put something white back behind them. So this is uh, You Autumn Know, um, which I sing Alanis Morissette every time I say the name of this stamp set because it's funny to me, probably just to me. Um, but anyway, it's so cute. More mice, which are super popular. Let me see if the question has come through. Oh, good. Yes, I have linked to Lawn Fawn in the description, so definitely check that out. Hello, everyone. My chat is a little delayed, so if you ask me a question and I don't answer it super fast, I think it's like 30 seconds or stuff. Okay, Lynn, how do you handle repeated shipping during Stamp Timber? They need a holding basket. Lynn, that is not a question for me, unfortunately. All I do is design. Um, that question would have to go to Simon Says Stamp. I have absolutely nothing to do with that. 
Um, I know they said they just don't have the capabilities for it. I don't know what that entails. So I'm sorry, I can't really answer that. This is the Scripty Autumn Sentiments, and we're gonna be using those because I think they're awesome. And what I love about these is that there is the script and then some extra leaves and things. So it's just really great. You have, I mean, the Scripty die, so it die cuts really close to the sentiment. Really, really fun. Oh, is it not full screen, Tina? Hmm. No, I don't know why it's not full screen. So tell me what it looks like because I'm not exactly sure. For me, it shows oh, that maybe there's a black border around it. Oh, good. Selena Nicole says she heard that song when she read the sentiment too. Okay, can real quick before I get started, because I took a week off, of course, we're going to have tech issue today. Tell me what the screen looks like on you guys' end, because for me, it does look a little different, but not, like, bad. Hmm. Let me see if I can look at my settings really, really fast. It's full screen for Robin. Okay. But Ziamaro says it looks different. Yeah, it looks a little different to me. Jamie says it's full screen and that there's a bar across the top and that my computer is screen sharing. Well, shoot. Oh, well, that's annoying. We don't want that to show. All right, hold on. I am going to look really quick and see Ignore this, you guys. I'm going to see if I can get rid of it. Because that is not cool. In fact, I may just please ignore this brief interruption. Hmm. <laughs> All right, hold on real fast. I'm gonna switch back to me really quick while I try to figure out what's going on here. Literally nothing has changed except I didn't come last week and I, of course, that is going to cause an issue, I suppose. Let me see. No, it's still showing that, no. Well, dang it. We may have to just put up with it this week, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try, like, oh, no, that's not it. Let me check one little thing. Sorry, Larry, let's go back to me so we're not getting dizzy. Because that drives me crazy. <laughs> fun, fun. I love tech. Don't you guys just love tech, too? Let's go my, to my camera. Nope, not that one. Oh, you guys, I fixed it. Yay. Sorry, everyone's going to be dizzy for one second. How's that? Yes. All right, tell me. I think it was just my camera source. I figured it out. Okay, everybody ready? Looking better on your end? Please let me know. For me, the screen looks better. I want to make sure it looks better for you. Okay, let's get started. So, because there's a lot of detail here and you know it's going to take a while. Thank you guys for putting up with this. This going live, I know I've been doing it since I guess July, but I swear it's something new all of the time. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sticking with me and hanging out and putting up with my little tech problems. All right, we're gonna build our background first. Oh good, everybody's saying it's fixed and it's better. That makes me so happy because who wants to see anything but crafting on their screen? Not me. I could care less about all that tech stuff. I have to figure it out, but I would rather not. 
All righty. Oh, yes, Lynn says, see how much you are learning? This is a true story. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's always something. I was laughing um, last weekend. I spent the weekend with um, some crafty friends, and we were laughing. Actually, it was Shari, Moss, and I, Shari from Lawn Fawn. I'm sure if you guys are Lawn Fawn fans, you know. We were laughing about how much tech we have to learn when all we thought we were going to do was play with ink, stamps, and color things. <laughs> And that our lives are filled with tech now. In fact, she helped me um, order a part. I haven't tried it, so I didn't use it today to hook up my regular video camera instead of my phone. So hopefully next week, because um, I'm going to try it out this weekend, I ordered a new tech thing. We are going to um, try it out and see if I can use my my good video camera that I got this summer. So I'm really excited. I know I've talked about it before, but ugh, what a pain. All right, we're just going to build our sky here. Um, I thought Salvage Patina Distress Oxide ink would be awesome against an orange pumpkin house because Salvage Patina is my favorite. Thank you, Tim Holtz. Always thank you, Tim Holtz, right? I think though, yeah, Nikki says that it's that the pandemic has made tech extra important. Thank you, uh, Tracy. You know what I have found? So I'm going to give, I'm going to, I'll talk to you guys really quick. I'm going to tell you something that's funny. So Jeff Lindberg and I, when we did our crafty chat for Pink Fresh, we had a tech issue prior to it starting, and you guys would never have known. I like couldn't get the second camera working because they use a different system system than what I'm used to. And Jeff talked me through it and he's amazing by the way. So, so good. But he said most people freak out and I, and he was like, you didn't freak out. And I think I told him, I said, it's funny. I grew up really, really like painfully shy, like hide behind my mom shy. And I said, I don't know what it is, but the last few years, I just kind of quit caring. Not like caring, caring, but I'm just, stay calm. I have found that I used to freak out and it made things so much worse. I mean, I mean, this was recent. I used to freak out about everything and I just don't freak out. And generally it can be fixed. And if not, people understand, at least my community, you guys are awesome. So that's kind of my little story for the day. Try not to freak out deep breath. Usually it's a simple fix and, you know, just go from there. All right. So tell me, you guys, what is your favorite distress color? Yeah, Lynn says he is amazing. I totally agree. All of these awesome distress colors. And how about the mica stains? Did anyone get those? I know, I think, I think the holiday and I think even the Halloween ones sold out because they're limited edition. Getting older has a few perks. Nikki, I could not agree more. Donna says that's right. Yes. See, you guys all know. Yeah, Jesse, for not being shy. I'm still shy at times, but I've just learned I can't be. Yes. Brandon says that co <laughs> it comes with age as does wisdom. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, guys. I can't just... I'd, if I want to blend in any darker color or not, I'm kind of digging just the salvage patina. So we may leave it like that for now. Oh, and did you guys see Waffle Flower has new blending brushes too? They're awesome. I know that lots of people have them, but here's what I did. So my Simon ones that are colorful, I'll show you. I'm using those for my dye inks. So I decided these Waffle Flower ones are for my oxides. Because I have to say, when this part of the brush is colored and I do not have to, like, look, I mean, obviously, you can always tell the color here. Uh, but before that, it's just easy to grab and go. So I love these. And the stencil mat is so, so good. No, the border's back. What are we even doing? How about that? Fixed it. Thank you guys. If it happens again, please, please, please let me know. I do not know. I did not touch anything. I don't know why it did that. All right, because the pumpkin house, well, no, nope, I lied. Grassy borders. This is the grassy borders from 
lawn fawn. We'll quit, quit talking about other things. Um, we're gonna color those with some rustic wilderness really quick, and then we're gonna color our pumpkin. Oh, Jamie says she's getting a new grandson that will be arriving anytime. Congratulations, that is so exciting. Yep, you guys, please, please. Um, oh, Tracy said it happened when I flipped my screen. Okay, if that happens again, let me know. I will try to remember when I flip here after bit when we're finished to check that in case we come back. And I'll try to fix that before next week. I see what it is. There's a different setting in here. It actually happened because of the Pink Fresh chat. Uh, so I have another camera. And for whatever reason, it wants to use that as my default. This is the Rustic Wilderness. So we're just going to ink up our grass. I don't know about you guys, but I love starting from scratch. Like, And I call starting from scratch the white cardstock base and adding color with inks, markers, whatever the case may be, and not starting with a colored cardstock. <laughs> Jamie said, get a hammer. It will make you be feel better if it happens again. Okay, so this is true, except that there's no backup and then there won't be any um, Nicole videos for a while. I am getting ready to order new computers. So that should be happening within the next, well, one of them I'll probably get ordered right now. I'm getting, cause you know, you just have to update. So that will be coming soon and hopefully that will help a little bit. Oh, thank you. Oh, there went my chat too. I want to, Jessie said she loves color combos. Can you include the distress oxide? Can you include oxides distress for backgrounds? She loved my Newton's nip card. Thank you. Yes, I can. And I do very, I loved creating that autumn sky background. It was really fun. All right, so we have some grass. I like to do two layers. We'll see if we end up, I think I'll probably use them both because I really like tucking like my dyes and images in between the two. So there's kind of our background scene to start. Let's just move that out of the way. Oh, let's knock some stuff over. And let's start coloring our pumpkin. I did not really plan colors ahead of time, so we will see how this goes. Oh, hello, Kelly, you're not late. You, you missed a lot of the tech issues, so that is so good. Yeah, Emma says Black Friday is a good time for that. Yes, it is. I'm hoping my computer lasts. Well, I'll probably have to order one before then, just because we don't know if it's gonna last. All right. Pumpkins are one of my very, very favorite things to color. Hello, Marie. Love, Fee, Fee Fegan says, and there it went. Love how you color with Copics. How did you get so good at it? Lots and lots and lots of practice. So I had a question. I think it was probably in one of my premieres um, this week, maybe. I, I, Sometimes some of the things are running together, but the question was, how, how did you learn to color? Did you take classes? I will tell you back when I first started this many, many years ago, there was a, um, oh, what did they call those Copic class? Certification class. And I drove like six hours to the nearest one and I went to it and I will tell you that it was not good. I did not learn anything at all. And I was really, really disappointed. And so I basically taught myself. And I watched a lot of videos and then I practice, practice, practice. Cindy, hello. She missed the notification. You have not missed much. Um, we had like a little tech glitch that I had to fix. All I did was ink blend a background and now we're starting some coloring. We're not doing, a, I wasn't, didn't have a whole lot of chip chat other than while I'm working today. So for pumpkins, this is my best tip. If you want your pumpkins to have lots of texture, don't over blend. So you might even notice when I used YR31, I didn't like just kind of smear it blend. 
this is kind of opposite of most of what they tell you for coloring. Um, I will tell you that my, I still have so much to learn and my most favorite Copic color out there is Alberto. Um, in fact, I'm gonna make a note cause I wanna link to him. He is amazing. I don't know if you guys follow him on Instagram, but it's like eye candy. Every single thing he makes is just gorgeous. So um, you just kind of have to do what works for you. And I noticed, you know, he colors his own way. Everyone does. You just kind of have to get comfortable and practice. Mine literally comes from there for a while. I felt like I probably colored with Copics every single day. And then I kind of did zigs every single day. Um, I want to learn to watercolor. And that's going to require me needing to do that probably, you know, a lot more than what I am right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cindy says all of her days blend together. Yes. Um, Susie said Copic certification classes were expensive. Yes. Um, I have since learned that the particular instructor I got um, wasn't great. And what's sad is one of my best friends in the world is Lori Craig, and she actually was a certification instructor, but we didn't know each other at that time. So yeah, bummer. Oh, I should have mentioned, I used my dark color there. That was YR27. So I started with YR31 and YR27. Kay says, would you guys use the pumpkin dye for birthday cards or just Halloween? I would use it for everything. We have a lot of fall birthdays. I could see using it for, I mean, fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, birthdays, um, lots and lots of things. Oh, good. So much love for Alberto. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. Carrie says that she took the certification with Marianne. And yes, Marianne would have been amazing. Oh, good. And Maria says she has learned so much from watching my videos. That makes me feel good. I, I know I still have a lot that I could learn to do. But yes, thank you guys. I always just say practice, practice, practice. And it's fun. So I love the texture. For me, we do not want to blend it all out. I want some of that YR31 peeking through. That's where you get the more realistic look for the pumpkin, which is definitely what I want. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I mean, how cute are the components here? I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, Wendy has the best idea. She says with light blue, you could work that pumpkin dye into a Cinderella theme card. I love, love that. Oh, Nikki said it too. Yes. Kelly says she has glass pumpkins in her house year round. You guys, I'm fall decorating this weekend. I do not care. I have put it off forever and I, I've been wanting to decorate so long. Yes. And see, Zia Mara says she doesn't use Copics, but she used colored pencils and watercoloring. And that is amazing. Definitely use whatever you like. That is so good. All right, I'm just checking to see if I missed anything. All right, let's do this stem next. So we've got, I'm gonna see what all we got here before I start coloring. Because I die cut more than what we probably will use. See, and there's little steps that go up to the pumpkin house. A lot of times I'll just kind of lay things out and see how they look. The Cinderella idea is like my favorite thing. Nikki says she put all of her Halloween up last week. Yes, that is so, so much fun. I love, I love fall Halloween decorating. I truly do. So I think I want to use more of maybe this. There's so many pieces. I love that you can really kind of pick and choose. And I did not have a big plan before starting today. I had a general idea, but I figured we'll just see how it goes. Yes, Lawn Fawn gets everything just right, Nikki says. And Julie says would be a great gnome house. Yes, we talked about that 
um, in the premiere last night that a, a lot of people thought that, and I think so too. I think it would be really fun to create a village like with the acorn, pumpkin, and the mushroom house from Lawn Fawn. Um, Bonnie, yes. Um, I will post Alberto's link later, but if someone else wants to post it now, that would be awesome. Because his, and he has such imagination. He's so good. Oh, Brandon says you got 14 new items. That's so awesome. Jennifer wants to know if I got the whole set of Copics or did I build my collection slowly? Slowly. I build it very slowly. Um, it took me a good long while. I do have probably all or most of the markers now, but it did. It took me a long time. Oh, good. Linda's decorating this weekend. <laughs> Jamie says she grabbed the majority of the new release. Happy birthday to her. Yeah, Jamie, is today your birthday or is it tomorrow? <laughs> Let us know. Oh, Kelly, I did not know that. Kelly says the teal pumpkin project is a way for people to identify allergy-free treats during trick-or-treating for kids who have food allergies. I did not know that, and I am so glad you shared. Thank you. That is really awesome. So definitely, you guys, if no one has Alberto's link right now I don't want to stop but I will add it as soon as the video is over I already made myself a note so I'll add a link to it for you know our replay crew who will be catching this later this is a little e47 we'll do a little e43 for the stem of our pumpkin nice little base color Oh, Sherry says she placed a big order this morning. That is so, so awesome. And for anyone interested, if you have not already checked it out, I do have a link in the description kind of down below. I talk about what links are included in this video. It's something I do update, um, you know, kind of once the live is over too. But I did put a link to the Lawn Fawn store there. So if you guys, you know, or wanting to shop, you can definitely check that out. So from the Lawn Fawn release, I would love to know what your favorite product is. Let me know in the comments. Oh good, Jamie says she did the same thing. Oh it's just me. BB says she placed a big order too. Hello from Germany. Awesome. Zara, I do not know what colors I started with. Probably nothing right. Um, it's been so long ago. Um, I would have to think about it. I'm working, I will tell you, I am working on my favorite colors color chart. I already have the Zig one done. I'm just not releasing it yet until October. I'm tweaking a couple things because I have a post and whatnot to do with it that has my favorite Zig color combinations. And I've had some requests for Copic and I'm gonna do that as well with my favorite color combinations because I don't think you need them all. I really don't. Oh, let's see, what's everybody's favorite? Oh, good, Kelly and Shari's lives, yes, so good. Kitties, yes, coffee cup, love the pumpkin. Thank you, Brandon, for using my link. I very, very much appreciate that. Oh, thank you, Amber. That is so sweet of you. Cindy says she always goes too far with the colors and loses the light in the middle. Yes, that definitely happens. All of it, Kathy says, that's me. Magic holiday messages for the magic iris. Those are very fun. Oh, good. Gingerbread and the new mice, Hannah says. Uh, created by Zoe says is the new sweater weather paper pad. Yes, I was so happy to see they um, re-released that. Maggie says she used uh, my link to buy her new lawn fund. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Zia Maro shared Alberto's link. That is so awesome. Thank you for doing that. Oh, good. And Kelly says she made lawn fund her birthday purchase. Judy says, you autumn know, and seriously, I'm still singing Alanis Morissette in my head. Uh, scripty autumn sentiments. Those are both 
my favorite as well. Um, penguins, yes! Oh, how fun. All right, for the greenery we have, like the little vines, I'm using a deeper, darker color combination. And this will be included in my download because I have like a brighter color combination I use a lot, but if we're gonna do autumn themed cards, this is my kind of go-to. And I will show you, that was YG97 and 95. Jamie says it's hot in Texas. It's hot here too. It's been extraordinarily hot. Like it's still in the 90s here. So we definitely do not have autumn weather yet. I'm ready for it to cool off a little, but I don't see. I looked at the extended forecast and it's still hot. <laughs> v Camp says she wants it all. That's so funny. Yep, Sandy. Brandon says he watches Sandy. She's taught him so much about Copics. Yes. Oh, and so many people excited about the uh, flippy, flappy, whatever. I probably said the name wrong. It is so cute. Um, I actually watched one of my friends borrowed Shari's dies when we were um, together last weekend, and she made that, and it was so cute. That will be the first interactive card I make with this release, the video. And that should probably go up that first week of October. We're going to make this leaf match the vine, because I think this one's going to go up there at the top. And I'm really just kind of getting a base color. I also want my leaves to have some nice texture to them. I'm going to grab one lighter. Maybe. <laughs> Cindy says she's bought too many of the same colors and she could tell you what not to buy. I love that. It's just me. BB says she loves the perfectly wicked and let it snow. Oh, Zara says it's the high 70s in New York City, but the humidity is in the 90s. Yeah, that is not good. It's so it's dry here. We always just have a dry heat, but ugh, for the most part anyway. Flippy flappy. Okay, good. <laughs> Sometimes uh, the names of things, there are so, so many. All right. I suppose my coloring is going to take forever today. Sometimes, you know, you can just keep working and working at it. One of my favorite things about Copics is that you're not going to peel the paper. So if you start kind of lighter, you can always add, which is what I tend to do a lot. Oh, Elizabeth, hello. She says she placed a big lawn fawn order. Yeah, so many of you very excited about lawn fawn. And then Mama Elephant had a big release for their anniversary this week as well. So it's just been cuteness overload. Oh my goodness, so many of you in Austin. Tina's in Austin. Jamie's in Austin. Oh my goodness, Maria, 43 in Colorado. Fantastic. That's almost cold. Oh, nice. DK Sherby says her daughter just moved back after six years there. Uh, Jessie says that she placed, she purchased a lot of lawn fun, but didn't get the pumpkin. Uh-oh. So it's starting to come together. All right, for our door, let me see. I am going to try to decide what I want to do here. I think for this, I want to use, yeah, I have no idea. Let's use some grays, I think, like to make it look kind of stone, perhaps. Oh, thank you, Ziamara. That's so nice. 75 in Northwest Indiana. I would take that. That is like my ideal weather right there.
that would be awesome if Jamie and Tina could get together and craft together. That is so awesome. Karen, I was just talking about you and I said you made a flippy floppy last weekend. We were talking about that and how I haven't even tried it yet. So I was all over watching that. My friend Karen is here. Zia Morrow says she needs more money. You and me both. That's going to be too light. Let's get a little darker. And I did what I said don't ever do. Hold on. So when I'm using a glass mat and the marker gets on it, if you color a lighter color next, it'll pick up and transfer to what you're coloring. So I've got some orange. I'm just gonna take a little cleaner and a microfiber cloth and clean it up. See, that's a lot of ink. We definitely don't wanna mess up our coloring. I think we'll be able to fix it. Let me see. Oh, thank you, Jamie. All right. I just kind of want these to look like maybe stone steps going up to the... <laughs> Karen says her ears were burning. It's true, they were. <laughs> Are you at work? It's the little things in card making says she's late. You're not that late. We're just chatting and crafting. All right, I'm so far behind in my chat, I'm so sorry. Oh, good, Cher Sherry says she, Cherry says she got the whole new release from Mama Elephant. That's awesome. It's really good too. It's hard because I feel like, you know, sometimes you can easily pick and choose like some things you like more than others, but oh my gosh, I have loved everything that Lawn Fawn and Mama Elephant have come out with. And I don't know why these stairs are giving me such issue this morning. All righty. So we kind of have our little pumpkin, got some cute little stairs. I'm gonna do this door and some windows, I think. So I want it to look like there's a light on inside. Let's do the windows first. And I usually just, I like YR31, it's kind of my go-to. Scrappy Ella says she's peeking in while on her break and first time catching a live and she spent too much money, but she's happy about it. That is what it's all about. Oh, DK Shervy says she got the Mama Elephant release too. Cherry says that she loves both Ella, Lawn Fawn and Mama Elephant and can't control herself. <laughs> that's so funny. They, that's, that's how I feel too. So we're just gonna start with like the YR31. This is gonna be the layering piece for the window. I want it to look like that light's on. I think I will grab a little bit lighter to blend out. I know it's only gonna be peeking through. This is YR30. Thank you guys, I'm glad you like the pumpkin. I love building these little houses. So that's gonna be our windows. And then I think for our little window casings, I'm just gonna use my browns again. Let's move a few of these markers. And I think we're gonna do the door at the same time. So we're just gonna do, now there's a window box or there might be one in another set. I know I saw a sample with a window box. I don't think I'm gonna use it today because we've got a lot of cute critters to color too. I pre-stamped them, so there's that. These are, whoops, these are the little guys we're gonna use. How cute are they? I love the mice, love the mice from Lawn Fawn. Uh, Tracy wants to know, would the pumpkin size work proportion-wise with the Simon Says Stamp gnomes? Hold on. I don't have the die out and I don't wanna dig for it at the moment, but I will show you I got a card. 
So you can just kind of decide for yourself. Whoops, let's be in the screen. So, I mean, it would be an oversized pumpkin. Let me see. It's like crafty Christmas lives, Reeves said. Oh my goodness, I agree. Oh, hello, Zeta just got home from work. Cindy says lawn fawn is her favorite. Yeah, lawn fawn is pretty good. All right, let's color in. I'm using E47 and 44. I'm not really going to take a ton of time. There's not a lot of shading to do here. I just want to get my window frame. And I think the brown will stand out nice, but still give it kind of that earthy feel. And I think we're going to use this for the door frame on our door as well, probably for the door too. I'll do the frame a little darker and then do the door a little lighter. Oh, Jennifer says that the C3 mice I colored were beautiful too. Thank you. The gnome stamps, Emma says, yeah, that might be better. We're talking about storms, it looks like, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Let's go ahead and do dark along the bottom. So this is going to be E47 again. I'm just going to kind of mimic what I did for the window frame. And then E44. So I asked last night in the premiere, but for those who have been shopping Stamp Timber, I'd love to, knew, to know if you purchased anything first. And if you did, what's your favorite thing? What's your favorite collaboration? Or even if you didn't and you're just following along, uh, what's your favorite collaboration been? Oh my gosh, Jamie, that's terrible. I am so sorry. Cindy wants to know where I live. I am in Kansas. So I'm doing a little bit lighter on the door itself. In fact, I probably blended out a little too much. I want it to have kind of that wood grain appearance. So if you that happens, and this is the same thing for like the pumpkin, just kind of, you know, they do dry pretty quick, but let it dry a little, and then you can always kind of go back over. And I did not pop out the little window pieces, but I will. Because that's kind of ruining the whole look. Anita says she liked MFT, yes. And Wendy says kitchen sink. Nikki says Lawn Fawn, Teresa Mama Elephant, V Camp says Lawn Fawn and Mama Elephant, yes, I love hearing what everybody liked. Kelly says she got Pink Fresh, Alta New, and the Hippos, oh, La La Land Crafts, oh, they were so, so cute. Emma got the Hippos too. I think those Hippos went super, super fast. Oh, good, Jesse says that the pumpkin stencil from the live from a few weeks ago is finally back in stock, and she got it. Oh, good. Messy Missy says art impressions is her favorite. Yes, I, I always love art impressions. Oh, <laughs> Laura says she's eagerly awaiting the Concord and Ninth. Yes, and I saw a lot of my friends working with that last weekend, doing their samples while we were together. Oh, good. Nancy says she got the new Simon inks and loved them. But she missed the art impressions. Liz says she liked this or loved the snowflake from Gina K, but missed it. I think that happened a lot. I do want to encourage you to check out those brands because a lot of times they will have other stamp sets that have similar, similar um, stamp sets in their regular collection. Kelly, I think today's collaboration sold out super fast too. I went to sleep, had no idea, and woke up to a lot of comments. 
Oh, good. Judy says the no the mama elephant gnomes. Amelia says Lawn Fawn, Mama Elephant, Colorado Craft Company, but Ma Mama Elephant's her favorite. Oh, Tina loved Newton's Nook. I did too. Oh, good. Carrie says she purchased a lot and ha got the new ink pads and loves them. I love hearing that. MJ Chang says she got almost all of the collaboration sets plus the Halloween kit. Yes, I love, love, love that. Halloween kit is was really fun. All right. I love hearing what everybody is enjoying. Oh, Patricia says her Hero Arts kit is coming. It's so good. That's exciting. Something to look forward to in the mail today. Um, that pumpkin stencil Messy Missy creates was a Simon Says Stamp stencil. Oh, Judy says it was gone. The today's was gone by 3.30. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right. It's time. We might need some more stuff, but I don't know. So what we're going to do is color some mice and color some leaves. And this is where we can really add some fun, like deeper, darker color. I think we're going to do a little red. I think we'll do some yellowish orange. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and just start coloring leaves. We're going to do, I believe, R46 and R59 for my red combo. Thank you guys so much for sharing all of your favorites so far. Actually, let's start with our dark color. Oh my gosh, Kelly, I cannot believe that that set was gone that fast. That's what I assumed. Actually, Kelly, uh, person and I were talking this morning. Uh, we were trying to guess because we're in, we're both in central time. And I think we both went to bed and we were like, oh, because I texted her this morning and I was like, did it sell out fast? <laughs> yep, Ziamara, you can definitely cut it directly from the pumpkin. That would be cute. Oh, that is so generous. Liz says she accidentally ordered two of the Gina K. Stamp Timber Holly set, and maybe she can give it to someone. That would be amazing. And I'm going to tell you guys, um, Zara, I cannot tell you when Tim Holtz is. Um, we are not allowed to announce prior to the release. I will tell you that... Um, his release will be at noon Eastern the day he does release that because he is going to do his own live. He has um, all of our samples and stuff. So um, they just don't want those things announced ahead of time. Let me see. <laughs> DK Sherby says, it's amazing when you look at a stamp set and then you, you're like, meh. And then when you see the colored examples, you go buy them. I do that too. And yes, Liz Reeves, that is amazing of you. So I'm going to tell you guys, since you are here with me live, um, I am going to be giving away every single one of my Stamp Timber sets. I will wait till Stamp Timber is over, but I, I will be giving them all away. And, oh, I dropped my lid. Sorry, hold on. Um, I don't have coordinating dies for most of them. And the only set that I do not have to give away because Letitia Yost is, took off with it last weekend. No, I'm kidding. I let her have it. Uh, but she has my gnomes and I told her she could have them, but I am giving away all of the rest. Oh, thank you. Is it La Petty too? She says, love your cards. Thank you so much. That's so nice. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be, um, again, it will be when Stamp Timber's over. It may even be the last couple days of September. I haven't decided exactly yet, but I will announce it and then I'll have a giveaway. I probably will run it through my blog just because I think that's the fairest and easiest way because I use a random number generator. 
and I think that will work the best. But again, I'm sorry, there's no gnomes. You guys can all go blow up Letitia's uh, DMs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Will there be a sign up? Kelly, um, I'm going to announce it before I do it and I will try to announce it everywhere so you know, and then I will run it through my blog so that um, it can be the most fair that I can make it. Because like I said, it's really easy to use a random number generator on my blog and so I feel like that's just the best, best way to do that. So that was my little, that I had that on my list of things to tell you guys today because I know um, I try to do something with them every year and I think that will be fun. That way maybe some of you who didn't have a chance can um, have a chance to get one that way. I wish I had some for everyone. Liz Reeves says, I'll send that set from two years ago to you. You can send it to someone here. Oh, that's so kind of you. Um, let's not pay. I don't really want you to have to pay shipping twice. Will you DM me after the live today and we will figure out what to do? Yeah, Jesse, the Newton's Nook stamp set went really quick too. Kay says she has to have this set. It's so darn cute. And the name for anyone who's probably close to my age, it just, you ought to know. And I'm probably going to say it from now until the set is no longer available, which will probably be a long time because Lawn Fawn does not retire things very often. Uh, I'm just going to sing Alanis Moore set over and over and over in my head. It's probably going to be one of those things that it's stuck. I Okay, so here's something else funny about a song. Um, last weekend, we were I took my Pink Fresh stuff for friends to use. And there's a stamp set and stencil set from uh, Pink Fresh from that Christmas release called Thrill of Hope. And I told them that in my mind, Oh Holy Night plays every single time I think of that name. So it's just funny. Oh, thank you, Barb K. She says she loves watching. Yep, Cajun Pride and Jamie, I'm there with you too. I don't ever win anything. Oh, scrap, scrap, that Mars has to pop off to drop her daughter off, but she, she'll be back soon to watch. We'll probably still be here. I am feel like I'm missing, I missed you guys last week, and I feel like I'm a little chatty today. I also feel like I'm missing a marker. Oh no, it's right here. Okay, so I think my favorite leaf image from you autumn know is this one because this little guy can look like he's sitting on it and i think it's so so fun Denine, thank you for stopping by she says she has to finish watching tonight because she's got to go have thank you so much bye i love Denine. in fact you guys should if you don't i'll try to find Denine's link too she is so clever she actually went didn't get the all to new stamp timber set and she went through her stash and she made a card like if you didn't know you would think she had the stamp timber set it is so so smart i absolutely love it i reposted it on my instagram earlier this week but it was so clever i'll try to remember to add a link to that oh kelly that's so funny i didn't know that that the rumor is you ought to know is about Ryan Reynolds. Well, now I've learned something new today. Kathy says you could watch all day. Well, thank you. I think I might lose my voice if I tried to do this all day. It is fun, though. I really missed you guys last week. It was nice having um, some time with friends, especially this month has been so crazy. I told you, uh, anyone who was with me in my premiere last night for the, the video, I was so tired. I wanted to go to bed at 930. I had to force myself. I actually came and this is, 
how bad it was to keep myself awake, I cleaned my office. I took everything off my table. I windexed the glass. I vacuumed everything. I organized some stuff. I was doing anything possible to stay awake, but I was really tired. I think Stamp Timber has finally caught up with me. Oh, Caitlin Annalise says her package is shipping today with that set. Oh, so exciting. I love, love, love that. Oh, Nikki has some, t some info on that song too. You guys know all of the good stuff. So here's a fun fact. I totally love like pop culture. <laughs> stuff like this completely random but I didn't know any of that that is really fascinating thank you guys I can't get this leaf to look how I want I guess it happens sometimes Ugh, Uncle Joey who knew well now I know some new information my kids always laugh because they say that I know the most random trivia ever. So now if this ever comes up, I know that. Yeah, Liz Reeves says, come here for the tea. Exactly. It's nothing uh, very salacious, but it's just fun. Cindy has a great idea. Buy the entire Stamp Timber collaboration. You sign up to purchase, and in advance, you pay the estimated amount for the entire stamp timber collaboration and she wonders what the cost would be you know i don't know but i really kind of like that idea i may pass that idea along i mean it it really doesn't mean anything coming from me but uh i may i may do that cut it out kelly <laughs> okay that's funny um yep yeah, cindy i'm gonna try to remember to mention i don't know and, you know, I don't know the logistics for um, all of that either. I don't obviously work on site. They're in Ohio, so. But every year that, that is an issue, and I know that they would really like to do something. But I don't know the logistics of all of that. So we're going to do some little brown mouse E44, 43, and 40 are my absolute favorites. They didn't used to be, but I mean, like a long time ago, but for the last few years, they really are. Let's just color that in. And where do you think E40? There it is. So I generally kind of start light here, and then we can add some extra detail. And I also feel like... I always think that they need like little pink cheeks. And then I like to do pink inside the ear, but look how harsh that is. That's never my favorite. I don't like that. So I do the pink and then I just kind of go over it with the brown to dull it a little bit and it's much cuter. And then we're just gonna go over cause I feel like I didn't do a very good job. DK Sherby says, dang, I'm so bummed. What about? Oh, yes, yeah, Cindy, thank you for reminding everyone. She says that there's 162 watching and only 55 likes. If you're enjoying it, I would super appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Jennifer, yes, you're so welcome. Thank you for watching. Replay Crafty Crew, thank you guys so much because I know a lot of you have to watch it later on. That's what I'm doing too. In fact, when I set this up, I forgot that there's a live that I like watching on Fridays and it's at the very same time. So I always watch it later too. I'm part of that replay crafty crew. Oh, DK Sharvey, her thumbs up is the 162. That's so awesome. DK Sherby says she likes how the leaf turned out. Yeah, I ended up liking it more now. Now this guy, so this one, I love this too because it looks like it's, he's going to like look like he's floating in the air. We're going to go red with that one. 
I just really want a lot of fall vibes here. Oh gosh, yeah, it might be pricey. I don't know. That might be why they don't do that. Um, Cindy wants to know if they have stamp timber sets left over. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but I don't know. I feel like Heidi said something in a live once, maybe at the beginning of the month or right before the month started. But you guys, I really, I'm, I shouldn't say because I i can't remember what she said. I probably should have paid attention just a little bit better. <laughs> In fact, there will be a live at noon Eastern from Simon Says Stamp. They show some inspiration and good stuff. Oh, you guys, I totally am so glad I did that. So I used R5946 and then I did R24 out at the edges and I like that little bit of light. Uh, Rochelle, thank you so much. She says... Do you use, how do you use Copic refills and would love a video? I will do that. In fact, I've been meaning to do that for a while. Um, let me make myself a note because that is definitely something that has been requested. Yeah, when the sets are gone, they're gone. I They may keep a few, but I, I doubt it. Yeah, my Copics look so, so bad. And... I have made such a mess of them. And then I don't worry about it because you're right. They are well loved. Um, is it Crumel 2812? Yes, Messy Missy Create says she's been struggling to find an E color combination that doesn't have super pink tones. So I used to use like E, the 50s, like 55 and 57 a lot, but it has pink tones. This is my go-to right here. And sometimes I even add in E49. This is my very, very favorite. Yeah, it would probably be ridiculous. It, it cost, Fenella 7 said, yeah. Yes, thank you, Tina. She knows what Heidi said. She says, sometimes they put them in crafty parcels. They surprise that. Yep, noon today, Linda says. Okay, lots of refill instructions. I'm going to show you what I do. I mean, not today, but I will do a video for that because I learned from Lori Craig, so I learned from the best. In fact, she let me refill all of my markers here. It's been several months ago. I have a lot of refills, but She has them all from her days of teaching. Oh my goodness, DK Sherby says she has one that was dry out of the box. Wow, I have never had that happen. I wonder how long that marker had been sitting there. That's kind of disappointing. I'd be irritated. I better speed it up. How long are we? Yeah, we're doing good. We'll start adding stuff to our card here in a minute. I'm going to add anything that I've got already out and ready to go. I may add some stuff afterwards. You guys know how it is. If you've been to my lives before, sometimes the live ends and I think, wow, I should have added such and such. So there will be photos, um, I'm, I will get a blog post up today with photos of this. So there'll be photos, instructions, all that good stuff. We'll be doing that a little bit later today. There, um, if you're looking for Stamp Timber, I will be here at midnight Eastern tonight. We're going to do a, a little um, premiere, sorry. I just realized I forgot to color in the nose of my mouse and it distracted me. We'll do a premiere tonight, but I will tell you, uh, they have two releases for Saturday, tomorrow, and only one video will be on my channel. The other video will be on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, so definitely check that out. I will have links to both of them in my blog post. 
Rebecca says, do you know the most economical place to buy Copic refills? I do not. If someone else knows, let me know. I have not purchased any in a very, very long time. Noon on the East Coast. So t uh, if it's noon on the East Coast, it is 11 Central Time. Um, Cajun Pride, I have not used the new refills. I have also heard some things, but I, I don't know for a fact because I don't actually have any. I was thinking about ordering one. I wish I have a note somewhere what color it is I need, but I'm not exactly sure. But I'll let you guys know. I probably will order one prior to doing my the video you guys are requesting. Oh my goodness. Rebecca K says she got the Tim Holtz collab last year in the crafty parcel and she was so happy when she pulled it out of the box. Yes, I would have been excited too. Susie Odin is taking a nap, which is so good because I mean seconds and I mean seconds before I pushed the live button. He was barking at his brother and running around like a crazy dog, but now he's laying out in the hall. He can see me and taking a nap. He's kind of looks like he's pouting, actually. I'm sure he's pouting. This is not what he thought we were doing. He generally pouts the entire day while I'm working. Like, Mom, why? But I, I actually have my walking clothes on because as I told him as soon, like he understands, but as soon as we are, or I'm done here, I told him I would take him for a little walk. He loves to go for walks. And I didn't get it done before my live today. I'm always worried something will go wrong, so I, I decided I'd take him later. And that way it gave me plenty of time to make sure everything was okay here. Okay, let's move markers out of the way. I'm glad I die cut these earlier. Oh, thank you guys. First live, Kimberly Barnett says. That's so exciting. DK Sherby is telling that she found her color refill on Amazon. Jamie says you need a nap before tonight. Yeah, that's funny. I might. Oh, Kelly, that sounds so fun. She's going to a cabin this weekend. Brandon has a good point. He said Blick Art Studio for Copics and Refills because they offer a discount. Um, you're the second person I've actually heard. I have a friend who said that too. Oh, good. Ann says she's going to shop Lawn Fawn today. Yeah, and the new refills have much less in them than the old ones. True. Oh, let's see. What is the crafty parcel, Kay says? It is something that Simon Says Stamp sells. It's just kind of a mystery box. Um, they come several times a year, maybe. Oh, Jamie says they have a new rescue named Sophie, and she's laying here watching. Oh, that's so sweet. I have a rescue as well. Um, we got Odin as a puppy, but our older dog, Brody, is a rescue. And he's... We were so worried about him, but he's... Oh, I just bumped my entire table. I'm sorry, you guys. He's wonderful. We always say he's the best thing that we ever did, because he truly is. I had no idea. I've never had a rescue before, but I would do it again and again. But he does get annoyed with Odin's um, definite enthusiasm. <laughs> Because Brody is 11 and Odin is not quite two. Oh, thank you, Rochelle. I need to get my nails done. I'm, I, I was actually supposed to... This is how dumb I am. I set up my appointment for this morning. I had to tell my girl, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to adhere this down quite yet. What we need to do before we get too excited is make sure I leave my room for my sentiments. So I love, love, love the stamp set here. This will be easier. You can build all kinds of different sentiments. I decided sending happy autumn wishes your way. I think that's what we'll do. 
but I kind of want to pop all this out and make sure that I'm leaving the appropriate amount of room before I glue anything down. And here's my hack. I put post-it tape on the back to hold those in place because they're easier to color while they're still in um, the bigger sheet. So this is my favorite little guy. How cute is he? It's like Aladdin, but not. For These are the things that I think in my head. If you guys have watched any of my videos where I talk about the stories in my head, this is the things I think, I guess. Oh, Donna has a fantastic suggestion. She allowed herself no more than five Copic markers a month, and that's how she built up her collection. That is amazing. Jamie says she loves dogs and she'd rescue again too. Cindy, thank you. You are always so, so wonderful at this. She says, use my link to purchase Lawn Fawn. Thank you. Oh, Jamie says that Sophie's the same age as Odin. They should have a play date. Bye, Brandon. He has to jump off. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Linda wants to know about, are you talking about this tape runner? Um, I buy mine in packages of three from Amazon. If you want me to add a link, I will. Wow, this is, and I've had this forever. It is so bad. Let me know. Oh, Just Country Girl has a 14-year-old lab rescue and swears he's part human. I love that. My kids laugh. Brody, I just took him for a senior physical at the vet. And they were like, did they really call it a senior physical? And I said, they sure do. Um, Bonnie wants to know how often do I do lives like this one? I do them. Except for last week, I had to take off because I was out of town every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Central. Oh, Liz, I'm so, so sorry. Everyone give Liz some love. They had to put down her, her fur baby. Oh, Leanne says Gabby's is one year old today. <laughs> Vanilla says that my mind is, is a little jumbled. Yep. All right. The lives are definitely going to be different. I do want to mention this because I've had a couple people, not you guys, I think I mentioned this maybe the last time we hung out, who don't, who leave me comments not liking this format. This format is truly just so we can craft and chat. It's not going to be my regular content. As you guys know, I still continue to bring you all of that regular content as well, where you get the edited videos and you don't hear all of my chit chat. Trying to figure out how I want to do this. Susie wants to know how my crafty weekend with friends was. It was amazing and so good. I love it. I love spending time with my crafty friends. And it was so nice. We had a lot of friends come from, from far away this time. So it was lovely getting together and seeing them. I generally lay out my card like you're seeing me do here just to kind of get a general idea because sometimes things change. Sometimes you're like, nope, that does not work or whatever. And this is a good time before you commit to gluing anything down. But I'm kind of digging it. I like the salvage patina background. I think that's fun. We're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiments and I think we'll just go ahead and use let me sorry about the bumping I'm moving a cord out of the way we're gonna put our sentiments here I think we'll just use a nice black ink I've got a lot of black outline a lot of times if I don't have if I don't stamp with a black ink or doing no line coloring I won't choose but I think we're gonna do a little sending happy autumn wishes your way and I of course dropped it I want to just make sure that spatially this is going to look okay and I am going to die cut the word autumn we'll move that out of the way 
I still have my stamps in here from earlier. <laughs> All right. We're gonna stamp Autumn in a, I think a colorful ink on white cardstock and die cut it. I might stamp this one more time. Let me see, my chat got really far behind, I'm so sorry. Uh, Barbara wants to know how big this is to, to change out. It literally is this. It's nothing. It's super, super easy. Yes, and I have used the big ones. In fact, I used Amy Colings last weekend for something. And um, she has the big one. Is it called ATG? Is that right? Hi, Susan. Thank you, friend. Um, DK Sherby wants to know if anyone uses the sticker machine. And that is the Xyron. And I do use it sometimes. I don't use it a ton, but I do use it sometimes. Susan was with us last weekend too. Yeah. Oh, created by Zoe says she loves the lives. So many of you are saying that. She says she learns more from real time. I do like the non sped up format. It's really hard when you're voicing over a video, at least it is for me, to not want to speed it up because it's just not as natural. Again, for me to sit there and talk to my computer screen. So we're gonna just barely tuck. In fact, I'm gonna go kind of over and, uh, yeah, like that. So some of the grass is in the front and some is not, and I like to tip it at a little bit of an angle. By doing this, I think we're gonna eliminate, I think this is gonna look cuter because there won't be any weird grass. I like that better. All right, let me find some liquid glue. Oh, Leanne says she can't get the app to work on her phone so that she wants to chat with everyone. Oh my goodness, that's so frustrating. Susie says she lives in the USA and her crafty friends live in Australia. Yes. I agree. I This is so nice to have a, a community here where we can just chat about things and, you know, we all are here because we love crafting. I'm going to put my door down. I am not going to glue down this part because it will open. You could have somebody peeking through. I haven't decided if I'll add anything. Oh, all right. So maybe I better bend that first and start over with the glue. Hold please. This is the real part of the crafting where you get to see the mistakes. You guys have gotten to see them too. I'm glad, and I, I told you guys this a while back that um, this format isn't for everyone and that's totally cool. That's why I keep both. But I personally really like lives. And so that's why I even started this. It was completely a crazy thought. Both of my boys watch YouTube channels that do lives. And they were like, yeah, mom, let's do, you should do that. So they were so super supportive. Let's glue this guy down. Hannah says the Xyron is great. I only have the sticker maker. I used to have a huge one and I don't have it anymore. Yep, and Kelly, thank you so much for bringing up that point. I meant to mention that. Kelly's always so good at helping out. Thank you so much. She says that the Xyron is fantastic for applying vellum to cards because you, ha you don't have to hide your adhesive. And that is such, such a good point. Yeah, a lot of you are saying that. Oh, Cassie says she has three shizus. Oh, and her Maggie looks just like Odin. That is awesome. We could, I've never really seen one with Odin's coloring before. And so we were just, when we saw him, we we're like, oh. Plus his personality was just the cutest. And it continues to be, he's something else. I love that. <laughs> 
TK Sherby says, sold. Thanks for the input. She's going to get one. Oh, I love that. Yes, Judy, I agree. They're, bo they're both good in different ways. Yep, Barbara, this one is, she has the ATG, but she likes that better. I just like, I do better with the smaller adhesive, and I don't use it for everything. I mean, I don't use it that often, really. All right, I'm going to finish building this house and getting all of our stuff in place, or at least what we're going to do today in the live. I just love these little build-a-houses. And you guys, we have a lot of people chatting. So if I am missing a question, save it here for the end. And when I flip the camera, um, I will get to it. Because I'm sure I've missed questions while I've been coloring and gluing and all of that stuff. And I don't want to ignore you. Plus, my chat keeps pausing and I keep having to update. Oh my gosh, I was so, so far behind. but I'm sure everyone would like to get on with whatever you're doing today or maybe heading over to the Simon Says Stamp channel, checking out the live there, seeing what all Heidi's going to tell us today. I just love this. This would be cute also with the gnome house, the acorn house. I could see using that a lot. All right, we are going to pop up because you guys know foam adhesive and me are good buddies. I love myself a little foam adhesive. It's probably why I have these little backing papers all over my house. Oh, Jesse says they lost their little Shizu about five years ago and she was almost 14. That is so amazing. So um, for anyone who doesn't know, we got Odin because we lost our almost six-year-old, that's all the older he was, Shizu, a couple of years. It's almost been two years. This is how Odin was meant to be ours, by the way. We lost, um, Kujo was our other Shizu. Um, we lost him on November 13th, 2019. And it, he, he just, he had developed a disease and it, it was, it was just bad. He went blind. It was, it was kind of traumatic and terrible, but um, we lost him, and I really didn't think I could get another one, but I was lonely. I mean, we were all devastated. My kids, we were all there when he passed, and I, I mean, it was, it was good but bad, but we ended up deciding, well, we're going to go look, look at these puppies, and we'll see. Well, Actually, Brody was there, and Peyton, my daughter, was like, can we please adopt him? So we adopted him, and we picked out a puppy, but Odin was born two days after we lost Cujo. So we always say that Cujo sent Odin to us because he knew we needed him. That's probably more than you guys needed to know, but... Oh, Sharon, she says she missed most of the live... And happy birthday, Jamie. I, everyone, if you haven't, I know so many of you have, so thank you. It is Jamie's birthday. Wish her a happy birthday. Yes. Silvara, is that, I hope I said your name right. We are your crafty family. Oh my goodness, I am just so, so far behind. That's fine. We will, if there is a question, just hang on to it and we'll get to it in a second. All right, there's my cute little, most of my scene. I always need, let me check my black pen so it doesn't make a big blob. Oh my goodness, Cassie said her daughter just had to put down her two shizzes this week. Oh, it is a hard week. I am so sorry. Sending hugs to everyone. It's hard. It's hard that they don't live as long as we do. My mom and dad have a little um, Bashan, and I was just talking, my parents live in Arizona, and I was just talking to my mom this week, and he's, 
he's 13. I think that's what she said now. I was like, oh my goodness. His name is Kirby and he is something else too. He is so cute. Thank you guys. Thank you, Linda. I know a lot of you are needing to go. I am going to stamp my sentiment real quick. Let me grab. I'm just going to grab a different Misty. I do think my card could use a few extra leaves, but uh, and I will do that after our live today. I'll probably add a heart or two. You guys know. If you're here, you know. I always add a heart. I think our sentiment needs to be an orangey color. I think it needs to be canned pumpkin or pumpkin spice. I knew I'd say the name wrong. I think we're going to do this. Although, yeah, we're going to do this. I love these scripty sentiments from Lawn Fawn. I don't know about you guys, but the ones that have the coordinating dies, I love, love, love. All right. And I just set everything right on top of the die. Wow, there's something outside making a terrible beeping noise. They're building a house and they're also building something else pretty close and it's noisy and it's trash day. I'm going to die cut this. Oh, hello, Odin. Everybody's asking about you. Oh no, Tina says when she placed her order, she didn't pick up the mice and it was a huge mistake. Okay, so my favorite thing about the mice is if you have any of the other stamp sets that have mice in them, you can totally use those because there are so many cute sets with uh, mice in them. In fact, um, I'm thinking it's the bubble set has a mouse that's sitting, he would be cute on a leaf. Like you could probably find a leaf from something you already have. So definitely check your stash as well. All right. Well, that's what we have so far. My house needs a doorknob and some other things, but I think I'm gonna call it good for today. I'm gonna finish this when we finish the live. And put it up on my blog in a little bit. All right, let me see. I am going. Jesse wants to see Odin. Yes. Come here, buddy. Hello. Come here. Everyone wants to say hello. Come here. Oh. Say hi. You want to say hi to everyone? No? Why are you being awkward? This is my baby. He's so spoiled. Aren't you? And I love him just a little bit, obviously. Okay. Let me see. Oh, Amanda. She says that she wants to get the flippy flappy house and the pumpkin house, flippy flappy and the pumpkin house. And she loves Lawn Fawn because of me. Thank you. Okay, I know I've missed some stuff, so I'll have to go back and see it. And animals do leave deep paw prints on our hearts. Scrap, scrap that Mars said that, definitely. Oh, how fun. Yes, Zara says it's Odin Chewy. It sure is. Um, yes, Cajun Pride, I have a note to link to Alberto. If anyone else um, has anything you want me to add, let me know now. This is a great time. <laughs> Amber Adams says he's definitely part Ewok. Yes, he gets that all the time. Yes, thank you guys. Messy Missy Creates. I'm going to do a video, but definitely check out the Lawn Fawn channel because Kelly did a video for the Flippy Flappy card. It's really cute. It's just a really great um, interactive element. 
Yeah, thank you guys. He is cute. He's so sweet. He's my buddy. <laughs> he needs brushed real, real bad, but we're going to do that after our walk. Um, Sharon wants to know, she says she's getting the Gemini foil press. Where do I start and with what products? Okay, I don't have the Gemini foil press. Um, so I don't know what all works with that. I do know that it works with Spellbinders and Pink Fresh Studio hot foil plates because I've seen videos from both of those that do that. But I would definitely see do a search on YouTube and find a video of someone who uses that machine. He does have human eyes, Susan. And he really thinks he's part human, I'm sure. All right, any questions from anyone before I sign off? Uh, Tina wants to know if I'll be making a card with the kitty. She loves them so much. It's the Halloween kitties, right? If I remember correctly, I am. I'm going to do a whole Halloween video. Like, I think I'll have multiple cards in one video. So, yes. Um, Cindy says that she knows I quilts. And she says she got her mom's sewing machine out yesterday and watched... The VHS, oh my gosh, gosh, to learn how to do the basics. I love that. That is amazing. Uh, Linda wants to know, how do you get to the noon program? That is, uh, Simon Says Stamp, either Facebook or YouTube channel. Do a search for Simon Says Stamp and it will be live both places. So whichever your preferred way to watch. <laughs> Vanilla7 says she still uses her VCR too. I don't even have a VCR anymore. That is amazing. Oh, thank you, Rochelle. She's sending lots of love from uh, Sri Lanka. Okay, let me see. I'm going to scroll down here. Oh, good. Um, Vanilla7 fin says Carissa Wiley uses the Gemini. Definitely check out Carissa. That's who I thought it was, but I could not remember. Okay, if there are no more questions, I am probably going to sign off and finish this card. And if you're heading over to the Simon Says Stamp channel, I will see you there. Um, oh, thank you, DK Sherby. Let's see. Lots of good suggestions here for Gemini. So definitely kind of, you can always go back. The chat is saved in the video. So if you were talking about something and someone else had a good suggestion, definitely kind of go back and look through there. Sometimes I have to do that too, to remember if I'm forgetting some links. If I ever do forget things that I said I will add, please DM me, message me, let me know because I definitely don't want to forget that. Sometimes this month is crazy and I just forget. Thank you guys. I love you to our replay crew. We love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next week. Bye. The supplies used in today's video are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project that you might be interested in. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new live video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.